Maybe they should be called not-so-safe deposit boxes. Carla Ruff's box was drilled, seized, and turned over to the state of California. Owner unknown. I was appalled. Unknown? Carla's name was right on documents in the box. So was her address, a house about six blocks from the bank. Carla had a checking account at the bank, too, still does, and receives regular statements. Plus, she has receipts showing she's the kind of person who paid her box rental fee. They're zealously uncovering accounts that are not unclaimed. What's worse, Carla discovered the loss when she went to her box to retrieve important paperwork she needed because her husband was dying. Those papers had been shredded, and that's not all. She's wearing the pearls. Her great-grandmother's precious natural pearls and other jewelry had been auctioned off, sold for less than $1,800, even though they were appraised for $82,000. These things were things that she gave to me, and I valued them because I loved her. Carla Ruff is not alone. Attorney Bill Palmer represents her and countless other citizens in a class action lawsuit. They figured that the safety deposit box was safer than keeping it under their mattress. And in the case of a lot of citizens, they were wrong, weren't they? Some states keep unclaimed property in a special trust fund, but others, like California, dump it into the general fund. You acknowledge that you inherited a situation where the state was using this free money. That's absolutely correct. In fact, ABC News obtained an internal memo in which the attorney for the Bureau of Unclaimed Property argued against expanding programs to notify rightful owners. He wrote it could well result in additional claims of monies that would otherwise flow into the general fund. What we've done here over the last two decades has been dead wrong, right? You know, we've kept the property and not provided owners with the opportunity, the best opportunities to get their property back. It's not just safe deposit boxes. A British man went to retire and discovered that the four million in U.S. stock he had been counting on had been seized and sold for just $200,000 years earlier. A Sacramento family lost out on railroad land rights ancestors had owned for generations. If I'd hang on to it, it would be a um, millionaire, multimillionaire. And it's not just California. In Delaware, unclaimed property is the third largest source of state revenue. Idaho now keeps unclaimed property permanently if the rightful owners don't claim it within 10 short years. And all 50 states pay private contractors to seize accounts for them. It's an inherent conflict of interest. The more rightful owners are found, the less money the contractors make. And let's face it, in the Internet era, most people are easy to find. Do you see your own address on there? I do. I found you in about five minutes, so what's preventing you from finding the rightful owners of all this property? Uh, no, we're, we're making our best efforts. If California does get better at reuniting people with their property, that could present another challenge. Remember, right now the state spends the money. It's like the last guy in a line at a pizza parlor. The pr there's only so much pizza. At the end, when I get up to the counter to claim my pizza, there may be no pizza for me. I don't want my legacy to say I continued a broken program. You know, I want my legacy to say that, you know, this guy was the guy who truly cared about the people and returned their money. But of course, it's impossible to return Carla Ruff's precious family heirlooms. Carla has settled with her bank, Bank of America, which says it deeply regrets the situation. And last year, the courts ordered California to stop seizing people's property until it made reforms. And several of those changes are now in place. But as little as three years can allow them to come in and do this, right? That's right. They just wait three years and then they consider the account abandoned. Quick tips for everybody? First of all, make contact at least once a year so there's no way that your property can be considered abandoned. The other thing is to make a list of your accounts and keep it with your will so your heirs will know where to look. And if you want to search for property in your name, you don't have to pay somebody to do that. You can go right to our website and we've provided a couple links where you can do that for free. Okay, this was a mouth dropper for yes. all of us. No idea. Thanks so much. And again, the website can help. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.